What? Hmm? Hang on. I don't get it. Maybe. Oh, the focus. I think your nose is still the focus. <laughs> This is going to be a quick episode because remember, remember like, the instructions uh, that I sent you for how to, uh, you know, prepare a HTTP two or three episode. Uh, I said, you know, try and aim for them to be about ten minutes long, and then with discussion, they end up a bit longer. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> we were recording for an hour on yours. So sorry, sorry. Uh, so <laughs> I, I'm going to try and show you how it's done. I'm going to lead the way, Jake. <laughs> Show me. I say this. I get. <laughs> I say I'm going to do a quick one, and it ends up being 45 minutes long. But we've been told that there is only 17 minutes left on <gasps> the the cards, so this forces this one to be a to be a quick one, right? So okay. strap in. Go. Here go. we go. Yeah. Go. This is a bit of a, a love letter to a couple of APIs that it, I don't think many people know about. It looks like JavaScript. It is JavaScript. Yeah. It is. DOM matrix and DOM points. Yep, I'm going to trust uh, Jamie or Lucas, whoever edits this, to add the appropriate sound effect uh, to what we just saw Ooh. there. Um, yeah, so these are APIs that, oh, like, let me dive straight in. Here's DOM point. Look at it. Uh, you give it an X and a Y. Yeah. Do you know what you can do with that? You can log them out. Wow. I know. Are you excited about DOM point? Crazy. Isn't it good? <laughs> uh, DOM matrix, a little bit more exciting. Uh, yeah. You can just create a new DOM matrix, but you can also pass it in stuff. You can pass it in uh, a CSS transform, and it will parse it all and give you the, the, the matrix back. But you can also like run commands on it, like rotate, scale, translate, all of that sort so of stuff. So it will give you the actual matrix, like the one that we see in the mob books? Yes. Yeah. And wow. you can log bits of the matrix out. Look at that. There's the, yeah. there's the two from the scale, and it's amazing. Oh, that's exciting, isn't it? Probably one of the most useful bits of this, like genuinely, is that you can take this matrix and you can transform a point and you'll get another point back. So you would call transform point, you would give it a point, it will manipulate the point and a new point comes out. A new point comes out. Yeah. Exactly. And I use this to do the maths that I can't do. Um, because I had a, you know, did some of it at school, but it's gone. Um, Whereas this stuff can do it for me. I used it recently to draw a star because I wanted to do that transition that you just saw there. I kind of noticed that. This yeah. is a special transition. Exactly. Yeah, it's got the special effects going on. So when I decided I wanted to do this, I was like, I need a star. Um, and I, I could just try and get one from the internet, like an SVG one. But mm -hmm. because the, of that transform animation, I need the star to be well, I need to make sure the center is in the dead center because nothing annoys me more than like a, a rotate, rotate animation that's it's... slightly off. It's horrible, <laughs> isn't it? Um, so I thought I, I need to create this mathematically perfect yeah. star. I don't know the maths for that. So I'm going to let Don Matrix do it all for me. So here's a method. I'm going to take a number of points, five point stars, pretty much your, your basic one, x and y for position of it and a size. And so I'm going to create an array with mm -hmm. twice the number of points. Because when we think of a five-point star, it's actually got yeah, 10, It always goes back points. to the center, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's those inner points uh, will we'll make it up to uh, 10 in this case. And here we go. I'm going to create a DOM matrix, and I'm going to transform a point. I'm passing in x0, y0. That's the default. I didn't have to pass that in, but it, it, makes, I, it reads better, I think. So, so now you have 10 points. And there they are. Yeah. 10 points, all in the same place, completely useless. But I can now say, oh, I'm going to translate them all by negative 1 on the y-axis. Mm -hmm. So whoop, off they all go. If, if that was cool. one, so I'll scale yeah. a bit. There we go. Yeah. Still a bit useless. Uh, but here we go. I'm going to rotate each one by a fraction of 360 degrees. Will it rotate around itself or around the center? It works in the same way CSS transforms work. So it, it's around the center of the, where it started. Yeah. So because we've translated it up, we've moved it away from the transform origin. So yes, the, the, the first point's going to be 0 tenths of the way around, 1 tenth, yeah. 2 tenths, like, like this. Cool. There we go. Look at that. And so we now have created a decadon, which sounds like a monster from Stranger Things. But 
not a star. That's the important thing. Yeah, you need to move some points inwards. Exactly. Well, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to move some of them outwards. Uh, but yeah, same yeah. thing. All the even points, move them outwards. I just made this. I don't know the maths for this. I don't know the maths for this. And now I've drawn a star. It's pretty good. And now I can add in like the, the translate yeah. and the scale there. And yeah, that's the hard wow. part done. Uh, for the rest, it's like, well, I wanted that, that kind of transition. I'm going to use clip path. Yeah. Uh, like this clip path, uh, you know, you can use SVG paths, but there's this nice polygon thing if you don't need curves, which I don't. So I'm just going to take a set of points and convert it into this format. It's pretty easy. Uh, I'm just going to map those points to, you know, yeah. X pixels, Y pixels, join them with a comma, uh, you know, between each. Slap there polygon around the outside yeah. of it. There we go. And now I'm ready to set up my animation. Going to animate L, an element. element yeah. Get its box, get its midpoint, uh, which is half the width, half the height. I'm going to get the distance to the corner from the midpoint, a bit of uh, Pythagoras there. And now I'm ready to do the animation, uh, just using the web animation API. I'm going to animate the clip path, create my star, yeah. size zero, convert it to the CSS format using the methods we've just seen. And the end position is same x, same y, but the end size out to the corner. And just like that, magic. That's Aha, it. Cool. And this is something I couldn't have done without DOM Point and DOM Matrix. These are APIs very few people know about, but they are well supported across all browsers. And it means you don't need to do maths. Wonderful. So it's also a call forward to another episode where I'm going to talk more about them later on. Looking forward to that. There we go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> So five minutes episode, 12 minutes of uh, thumbnails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that.